Hello everyone, this is Inayat Mir with my Exchange Server 2010 and 2016 Command Shell Comparison. Currently you are looking at my Exchange 2010 Server. I am in my Command Shell or Exchange, exchange Shell. So you are looking at my accepted domains through the GUI way. So I am going to show you through the command shell as well so this is under your hub transport role so now you can see i am comparing my command shell with my gui view so this can be done also in exchange server 2016 so i am going to show you that as well here you are looking at your mailbox servers databases so let's take a look at your mailboxes under recipient configuration. Here I have 33 mailboxes. We can see through GUI or we can see these 33 objects through the main shell. So let's go and use a get dash mailbox command. You also can export this information to a CSV file or to a TXT file, text file. So here you are looking at your mailboxes. If you want to look at the details about the mailboxes or you want to look at every single attribute, you can pipe the information or the command with FL or format list the way you do simply you have to type the command i am typing here get dash mailbox now here i am picking up first for one person or one user if you don't want to see only just one individual you also uh, can use a pipe with fl or format list or without pipe you will see all mailboxes if you don't type format list and individual attributes here i just used a format list so this is a long way to go because this is showing you every single user every single user's attribute they are almost similar or same. So let's pick only one user and pipe it to FL or format list. So now you will be able to see the attributes of only one user. If you want to see an individual attribute, you simply can look at the left column, see the value at the right side and you can use under your parameter like you can use a pipe with get dash mailbox you also can use a username or any other attribute you can use a fl so let's do it after a format list i am using to uh, show you here when created attribute so this is right over here and on the top you can see so i picked up from a same screen so you can see when changed or when created next to it is one when created so you can see this attribute creation date and time you also can scroll back and pick up some other attributes so the way or the message is that you simply can format list or you you can pipe it to format list i'm using now display name so you can see a full name of the user if you want to add another attribute you simply use a comma and then the other attribute so the way i am doing here is i'm using a comma and a second attribute in order to see the result like when changed you can see now ft is a format table so i'm using here 
format list and format table command both way you can see that and it all depends that how do you want it to look so the look is now as a table so you can see ft or you can see uh, fl so if i can change back to fl and this will be a format list so you can see in a list format so this was a simple and a small demo now uh, the next is let's uh, see something else because i'm a domain member i can use actually a powershell to show a user's attributes first you have to go into active directory module so you have to import dash module active directory then you have to use get dash ad user space username so visible is anna so i'm showing you anna's attributes so now any domain user can be seen like this through this command so your powershell can show you all attributes user is enabled first name last name uh, guid number and also security identifier so i am moving into my exchange 2016 now to show you same environment same commands you can do exactly what we have done so far in our exchange server 2010 so i am going to log into my exchange server 2016 with my admin account or a data administrator account very first time when you log in you have to set up your time zone so i'm here in us so i'm using eastern standard time for us and canada so you can scroll down look at the option and then you can click on save this will launch actually your exchange admin center so i showed you a couple of things from the gui and i'm showing you now few things from my exchange server 2016 of course i am going to uh, show you exchange shell as well but here you have all gui tabs on the left side and each single tab from the left is associated with other tabs on the right so simply the way we saw in 2010 mailboxes now we are looking at mailboxes at exchange 2016 so these all can be seen through exchange shell as well so look at exchange management shell so i am not going to use different commands i am using same commands in my exchange management shell in exchange 2016 so if you want to look at mailboxes that is how you look at mailboxes so get dash mailbox will give you couple of mailboxes what i have in this exchange server 2016 you also can use pipe to get a format list or get a format table so here you can use get dash accepted domain that i showed you in exchange 2010 now you can see the accepted domain from the shell let's see what we have in the GUI way under your mail flow you have to click on accepted domains and you will see in exchange server 2016 ex accepted domains so this was another demo or another option which i showed you from exchange 2010 same way same thing can be done in exchange server 2016. now let's take a look another command get dash mailbox pick up someone or one individual user so visibly i have here administrator so you can look at the mailbox for administrator then you can use a format list to look at the all of the attributes what i have shown already in exchange 2010 so this makes life much easier you individually can script things like that and you can look at 
exchange version or any single or individual attribute through this way so you are looking at now exchange version so you pipe it through a format list so if you want to pick up any other attribute very easy and very simple you can look at that one if you want to add more than one attribute again use a comma and i now used id so now you can see my exchange version and id same way you get the idea get the concept you can expand this so this is a get dash command this command gives you all of these commands what you can see right now in my exchange server through exchange shell so this is a very long list actually almost uh, 2000 commands you are able to get so this is just a a delivery message to viewers that how you can run this command but it is very hard to see directly on screen here and stop and pause if you want to pause you can use control c you can pause then you can pipe these all commands into your local drive the way i am showing you right now you can use same command you can use up arrow so get dash command will come back now you have to use a path where do you want to del deliver these commands so you can pipe it and type out dash file and then path c colon backslash b colon backslash d colon uh, it depends like what uh, is the location where you are going to dump so i i am using this command uh, exchange commands dot txt so now these commands went into my local drive so i'm going back to my c drive local drive local disk and i'm opening up this exchange commands dot txt now you can see all of these commands here available from the left column right column middle column so you have these all couple of columns here where you can look at these commands but uh, uh, you can actually come back later on to uh, view these commands whenever you need them if you want to count that how many commands you have simply you have to use a square bracket around the command or whatever command you are using so i use i'm going to use this square bracket get dash command and you can have a dot count so this actually will count how many uh, basically you have these uh, commands in your notepad so 2958 so thank you for watching i will come back with my other commands video bye